how to live for the rest of your life on testosterone. These are gonna be my trade secrets, guys. I do for myself and all my patients. I wanna give it out to you guys here. Could you imagine there are men that are in their 20s and 30s and they're gonna be on testosterone. It is what it is. So imagine you're gonna to have to be managed on testosterone for the next 60 to 70 years. I've been on testosterone myself since late 20s, definitely 30, early 30s, and I'm 56 years old, guys, and I'm gonna give it to you right here, right now. So these are my secrets for how I manage and see the world of men that are gonna be on testosterone because when you start testosterone, you have to understand you're never gonna stop. You're never gonna wanna stop. And hopefully you don't have to stop. So here they are, guys. These are the secrets. Number one, the lowest effective dose. It's gonna be an intermuscular ester. Okay, sipinate, enanthate, sussin on 250. I'm gonna tell you the truth, guys. There are men that can take topical gels and pellets, but I'm gonna tell you, most men don't like it. It ends up not working that well, and you go to these small injections. What do you want? You wanna get the free testosterone into your central nervous system. That's where the money is, guys. It's into your central nervous system. But you want to limit the effect of that free testosterone into your cardiac system, your hematologic system, your circulatory system, and the prostate tissue itself. Now, not to mention hair loss, the acne, gynecomastia, and these things as well. What's gonna happen is you're gonna use small doses like sipinate and nanthate, 200 milligrams per mil concentration, half a milliliter, maybe twice a week, maybe even five to seven days. Please guys, I'm giving the numbers right to you. That's what doctors do. If your doctor is giving you more, like this big dose every two weeks or a month, stop that. That's, that's not gonna be tolerated. It's not gonna be something that's gonna be tolerated and it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be this up and down effect. Tell your doctor to stop it, you don't wanna do it. Now. You want to limit ancillary drugs like aromatase inhibitors, guys, and selective estrogen receptor modulators like, like Clomid when you're on testosterone, not to mention for fertility and all these things later. You don't want to use this classic aromatase inhibitor. Guys, don't take it. You can use it sparingly. You could use a little tamoxifen for short periods. Get the surgery for the gynecomastia. Figure out what this dose is so you get it right. I'm telling you, these are very toxic medicines and you don't need them and they're gonna be dangerous and there's no data for it. These anti-aging guys, stop it with this stuff. It's craziness. Next, ongoing. You're gonna to have to have monitoring for the rest of your life. Vital signs, blood pressure and heart rate, guys. My blood pressure is always around 110 to 120, over 70 to maybe low 80s. My heart rate, it's a very important vital sign. You wanna have your heart rate definitely less than the 70s. If you're tacking away up in the 80s or 90s or over 100, there's something wrong, guys. Blood pressure, heart rate. You guys, you gotta stop the video. You gotta take the notes. I'm giving it all to you right now. Next, CBC. You gotta look at those red blood cells. I'm telling you guys, iron studies, total iron, ferritin, saturation, I'm giving it right here to you guys. Comprehensive metabolic panel, sugar, liver, kidney, hemoglobin A1C, the tenants of life, guys. Blood pressure, cholesterol, and sugar. And when you put it on testosterone, you have to understand those aspects have to be perfect. That's how I do it, guys, and that's how everything is working so well, but it's an ongoing, it's a lot of work. Next, lipid panel. You gotta look at the lipid panel. Your analysis, you gotta look at this, your blood pressure. You have to look if you have protein or blood in the urine, your analysis. Prostate specific antigen, PSA. Guys, I just ran the gamut. You gotta stop the video. You gotta take your notes. You gotta bring it to your healthcare provider. Coronary 
artery calcium score. It's a, it's a recommended from someone who's 30 to 50, regardless of your risk factors, you're gonna to wanna to see if you have some lining already of the beginning of plaque, coronary artery calcium score. Next, echocardiography. If you have blood pressure, if you're getting older, if you've been big, if you've been on steroids or too much testosterone, your left ventricle. I say the same thing every day. Guys, it's life-saving advice. Again, take these notes, let's keep moving. Mandatory diet. We have to understand, this is for all you metabolic experts out in the world that are always saying, doc, please talk more about diet. There is controversy over what's the best sustainable diet for life, red meat consumption versus ketogenic diets versus forms of plant-based diets versus caloric restriction versus intermittent fasting. Guys, everyone has a personality, everyone has a palate. You have to understand this. If you look at your preceding medical issues, the blood pressure, the cholesterol, the sugar, guys, you have to use the diet. It's such common sense. You could, you could use YouTube, you could use Instagram, you can get these gurus that are actually very, very, these are gurus I think are appropriate. They're excellent at training and giving this type of advice for dieting. So take a real break and look at this. I happen to like lower ketogenic diets. I can't do full keto, it's too tough. I can't do it, I don't feel good. I don't like to eat too much red meat, but I have red meat once or twice a week, and I have that really organic, very good, healthy, good meats a little bit because my palate, I need it, and I feel great on it. The rest of the time, guys, I try to be a plant-based guy. Please, pay attention to this. Next, exercise. We're moving right through. I'm giving everything for you guys right here. Approximately 150 minutes a week is recommended of cardiovascular, sustained cardiovascular. I like high intensity interval training. You can do it walking. You can go up a ladder. You can go upstairs. You can use a bike. You can go in your house. You can do it at work. You can do it in a parking lot. Guys, you can do anything. Weight bearing activity obviously is gonna be huge. You wanna maintain muscle as you're getting older. Older people that are fit and have muscle tissue live not only longer, but a better quality of life. So there's your exercise and your weight-bearing activity. I'll leave it to the gurus. You guys have some of these great guys out here. And the last part, mental health awareness. It's not talked about ever. It's not tangible. Well, everything else is tangible. I just told you the doses. I told you what drugs to do. I told you what your heart rate. I told you about the, the vital signs and all the labs you can do. Mental health, cognitive behavioral therapy, I see so many successful people get through tough parts in life and they say, I need this cognitive behavioral therapy. Look into that. Meditation. Learn how to really enjoy your life as you get older and let things go, guys. Let bad people go. Let things you can't control go. I want to be a motivator for you guys and I want to help you talk about these things. Stay positive. I am so filled with such positivity. It's not always been that way, guys. I've suffered, I've been around negative people, I've chased negative dreams. It doesn't work out and you suffer and you circle the drain and a lot of people end up dying from this, guys. So there it all is for you guys. The app is gonna come out where I will go into, directly on the app, the exact medications. I will give the trade names, I will give the common names, I will give the generic names, I will give the doses, I will give exactly how they're used all specifically with examples that I'm using and I'm showing. That's why I'm gonna do it, guys. Woo! So, I'm very happy, guys, and I'm here for you. I'm happy and I hope that if you're on testosterone, you're gonna learn and you're gonna find out how you can live for the rest of your life on testosterone. Guys, you gotta get the comments. I wanna hear everything. Let's lay it all out. How do you do it? How long you been on? What? Have I stimulated for some of these the vital signs in the medicines and how do you do it? So can you give the comments? Just let it rip open, guys. And thank you so much for trusting me. <laughs>